Boom, we are live, ladies and gentlemen. Wow, what a wonderful bull market ride. Literally, a monkey could play darts and be successful in this market, but because none of us are monkeys, or maybe at least not, not close descendants of a monkey, um, we're gonna take a look at Bitcoin, Fetch, Link, Ripple for fun, Solana, Matic, and the S&P 500, and we're gonna show you how and why some of this can be so valuable. And make sure you stick around to the end, too, because we got something else we wanna share. So. Bitcoin here on the daily chart. We've been following this and have not changed our chart or our sentiment for quite some time. If you were in the private group, you will know that I've been looking at excess deaths. And one of the things I've consistently said is when there's blood in the streets, you should be bullish. And with all the excess death that's been flying around the world, it's hard not to be bullish. The problem is most people make a mistake here. They see something wrong in society. Oh my God, there's a war children are dying at hospitals or blah, 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 any number of things. What you need to do is you put, need to put on your sociopathic hat because that's how the market works. And you go, aha, people are dying. Let's go long. And that has actually worked out quite well. For the last seven months, we've been talking about this sentiment, why we think we should be long and the potential that's available there. So Bitcoin since then has gone up 100%. But more importantly, one of the things we are big fans of is known as the Wyckoff accumulation, reaccumulation, and distribution schematics. Lots of people who, who trade in the markets use a bunch of colorful indicators and the RSI and the MACD and the, th the three multiple moving averages. And it's, it's a waste of time. The market is very simple if you know what to look for. The long-term accumulation patterns always work and they are very powerful. They show you the sentiment of where the market makers are accumulating, when they're gonna mark the market up into new high territory, and then when they start distribution. Now, just as you need to wear your sociopathic hat for finding the early of the market, coming in the near future, we're gonna have to put on a different kind of silly greed hat and get out of the market and start trading one asset for another. Now, I don't necessarily think you should sell your Bitcoin, maybe ever. We could be on the verge of the total destruction of the dollar, but that's for another video. So, so let's look at this a little bit more closely. Oh, this chart is already marked up and we've gone over it countless times in the private group. If you want to sign up for the private group, for the next five of you that want to join, we're giving you a bull market discount. There's a 20% off for only five of you. And if for some reason you're not happy, we give anybody a refund. So there's like basically no risk. Why would you not want to take a no risk bet and join them. So just go ahead and join that. It's a private group description down below. So one of the things that's been fun here, since our last video, Link has already gone up 30%. So if you don't know how to make your money back by joining the private group, that's strictly your fault. And you should just keep listening to other random YouTubers talk about all the crazy lines and indicators that clearly make no difference. What's fun here is understanding what a long-term accumulation pattern is. Link, for example, has been in an accumulation range for 540 days. Now, this is a volatile range. Usually, people get washed out in this market because from the bottom to the top, it's 70%. From the top back to the bottom, it's a 48% dip. Yes, you heard that right. From the bottom of the market to the top, it's around 70%. And then from the top of the market back down to the bottom of this trading range, it's around 48 to 50%. During that time, the market maker will run the market up and crash the market down, run the market up, crash the market down, up, down, up, down, multiple times, making as much money off of the spread of each of those trades as they possibly can. In the meantime, accumulating so that they know when the time comes and they want to mark the asset up and sell everything they've accumulated on top of retail who is still yet to show up or is showing up now, this is what happens. So in, as we zoom in closer, one of the fun things that took place is a reaccumulation range. That's this one right here, boom. It's the first one we've seen since 2020. So if you'll know what this is, then you'll know why we were so excited in the private group and why we continue to say, hey, this is awesome. Now, it was quite funny after my video the other day, some people are like, oh, expect a dump, it's incoming. And then the market did the exact opposite. That's, we're in, we're still in the disbelief stage. 
One of the reasons why the market does so well at this is because it knows how to play off the emotions of the people who are not in the market yet. And someone says, oh, it's going to dump soon. Sounds like someone who's not in the market, wants to be in the market, knows they don't have enough Bitcoin and is waiting for it to come back down to $32,000 so that they can get in. It's too late. The market has been in accumulation for 500 days. If you didn't enter the market now, that's your fault. So this reaccumulation pattern here, and these reaccumulation ranges here. Now, see, these are part of the private group. Um, so let's take a look at these. This is reaccumulation schematic number three. Reaccumulation schematic number three, you have phase eight. These are very short. These usually only last maybe a few days a week in comparison with the accumulation ranges up here. These can take months or years to complete. For link, which we we're just looking at now, on the larger time frame, it was almost two years for this accumulation range to take place. Now, what we look for is reaccumulation schematics, and you get usually reaccumulation after reaccumulation in between each of these cycles as the market moves up. So we'll zoom back in here again so you can get some more data. It's very telling. Number one, here, reaccumulation. Now let's zoom in a little bit, a little bit closer so you can see how similar these look compared to that chart. Okay. So, boom, there's one right here. So this is the first reaccumulation within side of the trading range for Link. As soon as it moved up and outside the box, it basically continued up until we hit this second accumulation range. On, on just a few days ago, the video we were looking at, or the video we created, was looking at this trading range. We said, this is in a reaccumulation range. It looks basically identical to this. The market is going to go higher. And I had a bunch of comments in the video. We're like, oh, bro, it's going to go down lower. You don't know what you're talking about because the, once the market starts to do this, it doesn't stop. If it's been in accumulation for 500 days, it's not going to stop 30 days later. The market maker did not waste their time for two years accumulating an asset, running up and driving down the price just to get rid of the mar like all of their um, accumulations within a very short period of time. It's just not how it works. So what did we see since that video? Already, we are up around 30%. So where is this going to happen next? That's what everyone wants to know. Take a look at Fetch. So Fetch itself went through a few hundred days of accumulation and then had a almost a 700% run up from the, top, from the bottom of the box. Then we saw a distribution cycle and fell all the way to the bottom. So in comparison with Link, the main difference here is that you had an accumulation cycle take 500 days. And with Fetch, it had a small accumulation cycle followed by a massive run-up distribution into a new reaccumulation cycle. So here again, we see a reaccumulation trading range taking place. And now we've moved and we look closer at this tight, this at the very top of the box. Here's the top of the box in the red. Sh sh quick check of the box, and now a beautiful reaccumulation range. Very similar to what we see here. We just probably finished phase C with this last big markup. Um, you know, sometimes we do use other charting mechanisms just to check, like, I guess, a, a deeper part of the theory. So I'll point these out to you here. The RSI is massively oversold here on the one hour. This test, the top of this rising channel here, as we move into this trading range, I suspect Fetch is right on the verge of doing what Link just did, which is after its accumulation, shooting up around 30 to 40%. So I believe this is coming within the next few days. Um, again, you, any, basically you want to look for a trade within the box and a tr if you are trading, although I don't suggest it, look to get in near the bottom of the trading range, right? Just like we saw with, with Link here, you know, the idea is to not get caught at the top of the trading range, which is when most people buy because their emotions are thinking, oh my God, it's, been, it's going high, it's going to go higher. Aim for the accumulation at the bottom of the box. There were multiple opportunities to get anywhere within this range. You can f literally fit anywhere within this price spread here and have done really, really well. So let's take a look at Solana. Now, I know there's a lot of Bear family members who are fans of Solana and who are taking this trade in the private group, so I wanted to take a look at this one. Now, first off, there was a, an accumulation range here for approximately 266 days. But if we go out to the two-day, we start to notice that there's actually a bigger range that's taken place. And we had seen this with Bitcoin previously. 
there's something called scale invariance in mathematics. You see it on mountains or in your lungs. Effectively, the way water carves mountains, it also carves little bits of sand on the beach. They look identical regardless of how big that scale of flooding or raining is. It looks identical at the smaller scale, and this is called scale invariance. So with our trading ranges, these same things happen. We are now at the top of the box for Solana. So we've rushed up really quickly, right at this smaller accumulation range that had taken place, run up all the way to the top of the box. We're probably gonna test this box and build a reaccumulation range here. So I suspect if you look closely, what you'll see is the formation of a new reaccumulation range taking place right here. And just like this, this box is gonna probably fill out maybe once or twice more. There's gonna be FUD that comes in around Solana. Oh, they've gotta sell it all and blah, 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 blah. No, no, it's not how it works. <laughs> Trust me, once these ranges get created, the market maker is uh, very assured of what they're going to do. And it's not just one asset that does it, it's almost all of the assets. Now I wanna take a look at Ripple. I don't like Ripple. I don't think you should trade your Bitcoin for Ripple. I just wanted to use it as an example because I know some of you are in the position. Um, uh, it's been hyper volatile. You know, there's been uh, pretty much any big cycle up you get, there's massive distribution. This is a shit coin. This is the definition of a shit coin and I do not think you should hold it for very long term. If you are in a position and it starts to go into extended periods of profit, sell all of it, okay, because it is garbage, effectively. It doesn't do anything, and it doesn't have any real value in my term. Now, someone might like to argue that, and sure, they can, but there's, and because there's been cycles where this is, at, the XRP has performed well, and if you're taking a small enough risk with anything, sure, why not? Throw whatever you're willing to lose into any idea, and given enough time, you might be proven right, and I might be proven wrong. And if you want to take that risk, you go right ahead. I suggest you do it because it what's, it's what makes the brave people successful is they're willing to take risks when others disagree with them. And nonetheless, I might be one of those others, but there is no clear trading range that is developed here, although there is a big price spread. There is a massive amount of this token out on the open market still. Um, I, I, I wouldn't trust that if it goes high, it's going to stay there for very long. But if we look at Matic, Matic has just completed probably its spring, its test, and is now moving up to the top of the box. Now, one of the downsides here is if you're early into a trade and we already have clear winners like Link, something like Matic might be a lackluster performer in comparison. When you have market leaders like Link and Bitcoin that are already moving outside of the box and in a very profitable area, trying to jump into trades that are very early, like Matic here, doesn't always pay off. We learned this in 2020. If they're not already out of the box and performing well now, they probably won't later either. So just something to keep in mind, although it's very likely Matic will go to the top of the box here, just as another comparison, um, I think it's easier to, to be patient. Now, I wanted to open up one more here too, because Ave was one of the ones we looked at in our previous video, and this is not a straight line, so I'm just gonna fix this really quick. Yes, and I'll draw the top of the box, okay. So Ave, I think, is in a better position than Matic, and one of the reasons why I wanted to use it uh, as, a, as a description is because I put a trade in the other day, There's, I've got trades in on Link and Fetch as well, meaning I entered knowing that I'm going to exit within the next 180 days effectively, maybe even sooner, and we'll keep an eye on it as it goes. But it's what happens when you zoom in that I think is so interesting. On Ave, for the very first time out of these multiple hundred days of in this trading range, you see accumulation range after accumulation range. Now there's clearly a ton of supply in the market here based off of these two things. A, the second explosion of price fell all the way back down to the, top, the very top of the box stayed in a nice tight range, and as soon as it moved up, it moved back down again. So there's a ton of market liquidity in Ave, and you can see that also down here by the supply range. If you wanna know more about how to do this type of trading, um, or in, I guess it's better technically investing because you're looking for long-term accumulations, 500, 200 days plus of trying to enter near the bottom of the box before these breakout moments where you get a very heated, um, exchange, people are short, they're still short, there's disbelief in the market, it's going to take time, finally, everyone, when, when my dad starts calling me asking if he should be buying Ave or something, then we'll know it's time to sell, 
um, or I guess the next time we're going to buy a retreat center. So, but that's a, that's a different story. We'll we'll save that closer to when we get to the top. For now, if you want to learn more about these accumulation rates, join the private group. Again, it's a risk-free month effectively because if you're not happy, we'll just give you a refund. Although we very rarely get people that are not happy with the data that we provide. And we've been providing valuable data like this for the last 300 days. And it's always surprising to me, people leave at the bottom of the market. Um, and when I'm trying to explain like what you need is a community to help you continue to do the thing that's right. It's like going to the gym. You go to the gym by yourself, you're, you're, you probably don't do very well. But if you go to the gym with two or three other people, they're going to be like, you can do more. You can put in more. You can be stronger and you will do more and you will get stronger. If you go by yourself, maybe you'll do like 40 minutes. Same thing with meditation. If you come to a meditation group with me, I can probably get you up to four hours of meditation in a single day, whereas if you try to meditate by yourself, I bet you won't even make it past 20 minutes. It's just a thought. The power of the group is extraordinary, so don't fade that. That's why we offer it, and that's also why we make it a paid group, is because you have to have some skin in the game to make sure they're not just grifting off free stuff, and because it takes a lot of work. Doing meditation takes work. Even though it's free, if you're going to do it by yourself, again, I bet, you, I bet most of you have never made it past the 30-minute mark. Anyways, I don't want to belittle you for your, your short meditations. But if you come meditate with us, we'll get you up in four hours. I almost guarantee it. You can ask Bear Den Jerry in the chats below. Anyways, um, last but not least, the S&P 500 I wanted to take a look at. One of the reasons why we are a little bit hesitant was this drop below the previous range over the last two months. But again... I've said this consistently, even though there were market indicators that say we should not be bullish, when there's blood in the streets, you go fucking long. And it's one of the hardest things to come to terms with because it means you have to wear a sociopathic hat. But once you get the hang of it, the profits are enormous. And then a little bit later from now, we get to put on another hat. So anyways, this is Teal with the Arcane Bear. Again, if you guys want to sign up for the Private Bear Den, um, Bear Family Forever, the code will be down below. It'll be a 20% discount for five of you. And remember, it's a risk-free trial month, basically, because if you're not happy, we'll give you a refund, right? So just go to www.arcanebear.com, boop, 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 um, and then sign up. I probably should have had that already open, but all of our charts, all of our um, tutorials, they are found on that website and in the private group. Um, so just go to arcanebear.com. Again, if, if the, maybe the website's going a little slow today, I'm working on some things. Mind you, I built this whole damn thing myself so I didn't have to use Substack or Patreon. So excuse me if it's a little slow. Most of the data is in the private group and sent out through emails so you don't always have to go to a slow website. Click there on Join the Family. Enter that bear code before the first five other people do and uh, we'll see you in the private group. And please, if... if if you're thinking that this bear market or the bull market is over, it's not. It's just getting started. The market makers do not sit through 500 days of accumulation just to give up 30 days into a market cycle. We can go over endless charts, and we do. So just something to think about there. Give it a shot. Why not? Anyways, deal with the arcane bear. I appreciate y'all. I hope you're enjoying the up cycle so far. And even from our previous video, us, you're talking about 40 to 50%. I mean, it's so easy to make it back. In, in a single single play. So join the community, have some confidence in what you're doing, and we'll see you guys again on the other side.